Hey guys, Sid here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. There's my chorus. More progress today in our in our relocation. Let me tell you what's going on. A couple things today. Found out some logistics of the fact that originally we were gonna have one of our friends take a few of our birds and the goats. And I was gonna be coming out in a few months for a friend's wedding. So I was gonna have a trailer by then. I was gonna drive the trailer out, pick up the animals. I'd have the stuff built there by then because um, there's nothing there on the property for housing birds or anything yet. So it was gonna be one of our first projects. But unfortunately, um, they decided they're moving too now, which is good news. I'm happy for them because they're gonna be close to us out there. But it also changes the game plan for everything a little bit. They're helping us move, we're helping them move. It's sort of like a, a whole situation. So we're, we're working out some of the logistics. So the other thing that's going on is we are two days away from officially closing escrow on the house in Mississippi. So <laughs> it's all the like last minute little, you know, final, they have all the final numbers of everything and all the crazy stuff like that. So I have to, you know, wire them the down payment. I gotta figure out how to do that, um, but I don't have that information yet, so I can't do it yet. It's like a whole thing. Um, <laughs> it's like a whole thing, but it's exciting um, that it's almost ours and obviously, they're doing a rent back from us just like we're doing a rent back from our buyers for the next less than a month. Yeah, less than a month from now, like three weeks from now. <laughs> three weeks from now, we're gonna be filling up the truck, filling up the cars, getting everybody loaded up, the dogs, the cats, the birds, and making our way out to I-40 <laughs> to, to get out there. I'm excited, nervous. Um, but excited and I, I will say this it's kind of funny it has been so humid here the last like week I feel like the powers that be are trying to prepare me to some degree for the humidity <laughs> of what it's gonna be like when I land there which is probably a good thing like it's probably a good thing to like you know get this California girl geared up for some some humidity, some real heat. I'm ready for it. Um, I think it's gonna be fine. But, but yeah, we're two days away from closing escrow. I've been talking to to Rory and Barry out there, the the sellers out there, and um, you know we're just kind of because they're doing they are selling the house themselves. They don't have an agent, so we have our agent, and then they have the lawyer. I guess is what they do in Mississippi. I don't know, guys. This is all new to me. But anyway, so we're since I went out there and to really go see the house and got to spend so much time with them, like we just, you know, we have each other's numbers and we just text each other when there's like a question or when one of us needs something regarding the house or whatever. So they've been super sweet, super helpful with helping us figure out stuff and, and logistics of things and answering any questions we have about the area or whatever. So, um, shout out to them because they're really really cool they're they're awesome so I'm, I'm excited and the fact that they won't be that far away they have other land out there um, in the area of Mississippi that we're gonna be in so we'll probably get to see them a little bit and Frankie and and their daughter um, Olivia were fast friends and so they're only like a year apart and they had a good time together so that's kind of nice that she I think that helped too like you know the fact that she kind of got to make a friend while she was out there so that was good I was glad I took her with me I was glad that that went well and and she felt like she kind of made a friend so that was good but man yeah guys two more days and and I'm a property owner in Mississippi well Mike and I are you know but it's exciting definitely nerve-wracking there's a lot of like there's a lot of I's to dot and T's to cross. But I mean, man, like it's all, it's like, it, it seemed like everything was taking forever and now it's all like boom, 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 boom. Um, I'm dreading after this week is the week that I have to really start packing, packing. Um, like packing the dishes, packing all of our clothes, packing, like everything. It's definitely weird because, you know, I just never thought it would be what it is that we're moving and that this is happening it just always seems so far away and now it's like happening happening and like i said you know i mean i am gonna miss this place i'm gonna miss our pool i love this is my favorite spot 
I love this spot for a couple of reasons. This is sort of like the center of the back of the property. And so you get the beautiful pool view. I get to see and talk to all my animals right through here. <laughs> And then we have this really cool like stone playhouse structure that we finished up for Frankie that it's it's happening. I mean, it's happening. There's no going back. This place is sold. I mean, we don't own it anymore. We're just renting it right now. And uh, man, it's just, it's going to be a whole thing. It's going to be a whole thing getting out there. It's supposed to take us about three and a half days. Of course, we're going to take you guys along for the whole journey, the whole hot mess express as I'm calling it. Uh, I did have a good idea because I've heard so many horror stories from different friends that have left California and that are in the military that have used different companies that pick up your stuff and ship it. And then they like all of a sudden say, oh, we don't know where your stuff is, blah, 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 blah. So I had a thought and I, you guys tell me what you think because I think I'm going to try it anyway. Those little air tags that you can order for like 25 bucks off Amazon that are like little tracking devices. I'm going to tape one on the inside of a drawer of a piece of furniture that's in the truck so then i can track it uh provided they're not like you know in a spot for a little while that doesn't have service or something but um i should be able to track it on its journey and know where it is and be able to then locate it so they can't possibly lose my truckload in theory right i think it's genius we're gonna see. I'm gonna try it, I think. You guys tell me what you think, if that's a brilliant idea or not. I've heard so many horror stories. I'm just like, hey, it's a $25 insurance policy that it might work, it may not, but I figure it's worth a try. People put them on their pets and stuff that get away and I figure it can't be, can't be a bad idea, right? We'll see. I mean, I've heard various things about the range on it or how it, you know, how it goes, but Clean. Must be a fire somewhere. Sounds like Cal Fire. I can't see it yet. So we're starting to get into crunch time here, guys. This is like the, the, the bitter end. We have two days and we close escrow. I got the good news. We get to take the birds with us. That's exciting for me that we'll have birds right off the bat. I'm happy I get to have birds right away because I was worried I wasn't going to have them right away. So this makes me happy. I am nervous about transporting them just because you hear a lot of horror stories about animals' reactions during transport and that kind of thing. But I think it's gonna be all good. And I will get my goats back as well. Um, not my sheep, my sheep I did sell. Uh, Linda and Neville are, are with someone else now, but they are pasture pets. So they're living their best life. Um, but yeah, these guys, we'll get, to, we'll get to have them out there and I'll have them uh, clearing out the creek brush in no time. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.